Hi, this is Mrs. Sudak, art teacher here at Littlestown High School, and today I'm going to be walking you through how to make a paper crane. We are making paper cranes today to help support one of our staff members who have recently lost a child to suicide. And the story behind paper cranes is in the Japanese culture, when somebody is experiencing pain, suffering, or sickness, the community would rally or families would rally and make a thousand paper cranes to show support. So that's what we're going to do today. So what I need you to do is take the paper that was given to you and put it pattern side up. Very first thing you're going to do is you're going to fold from corner to corner, revealing the flat color on the back. When you fold, make sure you're lining up your corners and crease nice and tight. You're going to open your paper back up and you're going to go in the opposite direction. Corner to corner, lining up your corners, pressing, folding really tight. Next, you're going to open up and you're going to flip to the flat side of your paper. You're going to fold to the side, hamburger, or I'm sorry, hot dog style. Again, crease, open back up, hamburger style, line up your corners, and crease again. Now that you've made all of your creases, you're going to open up to the flat side of your paper again. Hold in your fingers the corner edges of the papers, and you're going to see that's going to easily fold in. And once it folds in, you're just going to kind of let it do its thing and then fold down into a small square. All right, so you have two sides of your paper now. One that's folded looks like this. One that has an opening. You want that opening to be facing forward towards you. That's important. At this point, we're going to fold it into a kite shape. So you're going to go corner to the center line, fold, corner to the center line, and fold. Again, working on keeping things nice and lined up. And then you're going to take that, and you're going to flip on the back, and you're going to do the same exact thing. And when you're done with this fold, you are going to see that traditional kite shape. At this point, you're going to take that top triangle and you're going to fold it forward towards you. And then you're going to flip on the back and you're going to take that and you're going to fold it towards you again. So we're just kind of reinforcing that fold. All right, at this point, you're going to take these two flaps, making sure that the very long point of the kite is pointing towards you. You're going to open these flaps. This is the most difficult part of this whole folding. And you're going to lift up and you're going to fold it into a diamond shape. You have to give a amount of force. Your paper doesn't naturally really want to do this. Okay, so I'm going to show you that again. It's like this. You open it up, you lift up, and you kind of start pressing in to create this long diamond shape. Again, you kind of have to force it. Be gentle. If your paper rips here, it's really not that big of a deal. Just get it into this long diamond shape. Once you get it into that shape, go ahead and kind of crease, and then you're going to flip on the back, and you're going to do the same exact thing. You're going to open those flaps up. You're going to open to reveal the flat color, and then you're going to kind of, with your fingers, kind of fold this area in, and you do have to force it a little bit. Don't expect it to be willing to just open right up. You kind of have to make it happen. Same thing. You're going to get this nice fold here. And members from National Honor so Art Honor Society are walking around, so if you're having issues with this, they'll be popping in to help support you. Or I'm sure there's somebody in your class who has done this before. Ask for help. All right, once you have this, you have this part right here that's unattached. You're going to go ahead, and we're going to create that same kite-like fold that we did before, except now it's elongated. Try to get all of your edges lined up. Just fold here. Back. You're going to flip it on the back then and do the same exact thing. Alright, at this point you have something that looks like this. This next step 
can be tricky, but you just want to take these first two here and you want to fold them in on each other. And then you want to take the other two on the other side and do the same thing. So you're almost flattening it. And then you're going to want to crease here up at the top. And it kind of turns into something that maybe looks like a long dog or fox face. If these were the ears, this was the nose. You really give it a nice crease here. At this point, you're going to take this piece here, this triangular, and just fold it up to meet the tips at the top. Fold and push, fold and push here. Okay. At this point, you're almost finished. We're going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to lift these two here, and we're going to fold them in. And you're going to do the same thing to the back side. You're going to fold them together. And again, it flattens it out. And you'll see these pieces on the inside kind of start to form. This is the head and the tail of the crane. Kind of push. Now we're going to fold down the wings. This is the wing shape. And this middle part here, that triangle is the body. Press and fold. Press and fold. And then you can decide which one of these two long pieces you want to be the head and which one you want to be the tail. I'm going to do this one as my head. All I'm going to do is fold this piece down to create a beak. I'm going to just kind of slightly pull out. And here's my tail. And then I have a crane. And they all look very similar. Okay. When you're done, if you can just give that to your homeroom teacher, we're going to place them in a container for a larger group, and we'll be putting these out in display in a common area once all of our 1,000 cranes are folded. Thank you for participating today. If you would like to make any extra cranes, please stop by room 200. I have a lot of extra paper. Just come see me.